outrage sparked as two French doctors suggested carrying out experiments for COVID-19 vaccinations in Africa. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much guys for being here. If you're new to the channel please go ahead and subscribe and if you're returning thank you guys so much. Now oh my goodness I just have to start with that. Oh my goodness. Um, what is coming out of France right now has got us very angry. Very very angry. And when I learned of this news, I really just had to take time to, to really take it in and go and do my research for myself, okay? Like, this was unbelievable. To the, it was just unbelievable. Now, two French doctors were having um, a conversation on, um, on French TV about bringing um, and testing, I think, um, um, vaccinations on Africans, okay? And whilst I have no problem with Africa being um, brought to the conversation about the development of research and vaccinations, I think the manner in which it was done was highly, highly insulting. It was just disrespectful and... It, it just was beyond me, you know. Um, they talked about um, pro prostitutes in Africa and the need for AIDS um, research because um, these prostitutes were not protecting themselves. They just threw that out there. They failed to mention the political and the socio-economical factors that drive people towards prostitution. And even how um, the French's historical involvement in Africa has um, influenced some of the problems that Africa has today. I mean, come on, come on. Like, it was just ridiculous, you know. Um, the justification as well was like, um, Africa doesn't have masks and ventilators. Hang on. Here in Europe... Um, let me just talk about England, Great Britain. We have lack of masks, lack of um, protective um, equipment for our staff. We lack ventilators. We, we are struggling. There's a major problems around these resources um, in, in Europe, you know. So um, much less talk about Africa as well, you know. We have a problem here. So, so why doesn't the research um, start here? You know, if you look at the death tolls coming out of Europe, you look at Italy, you look at Spain, and also you look at um, the UK, the numbers are growing. It's like um, having two houses. One is on fire, but then you're going to rescue the one that, um, you're going to rescue people from the house that is not on fire. Literally, that does not make any sense Seriously, as I said, I'm not against, um, you know, there being a conversation which involves Africans in, um, in the conversation of research and vaccinations. But we just need to be careful, careful that this is um, ethical and also it's done in a respectful um, manner. And also African leaders need to be careful that when these conversations come about, that they're not driven by political, uh, sorry, they're not driven by um, financial incentives, you know. And I feel like the young people of Africa, we need to be awake, we need to be alert, we need to be engaged in what is going on, because we need to send a clear message out there and demand respect and let them know that we are not guinea pigs. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below and let me know what you think um, about what's coming out of um, France right now regarding this topic. Um, if you're new to the channel, guys, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to stay um, up to date 
in terms of what's coming from my channel. Thank you guys so much and take care now. Bye. Si je peux être provocateur, est-ce qu'on ne devrait pas faire cette étude en Afrique où il n'y a pas de masque, pas de traitement, pas de réanimation Un peu comme c'est fait d'ailleurs pour certains, certaines études dans le sida où chez les prostituées, on essaye des choses parce qu'on sait qu'elles font... Elles sont hautement exposées et elles ne se protègent pas. Qu'est-ce que, qu que vous en pensez Alors vous avez raison et d'ailleurs on est en train de réfléchir en parallèle à une étude en Afrique justement pour, pour faire ce même type d'approche avec le BCG, un placebo. Euh, je pense qu'il y a un appel d'offres qui est sorti ou va sortir et je pense qu'on va en effet euh, sérieusement réfléchir.